Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I hated getting my wisdoms yanked. Yeah, that's what it's like, especially if you have a slow internet connection. Oh, we've all been there. I remember back in the days of dial-up. I remember my first 14.4 modem, and then upgrading to 28.8, and then going to 56, but really only being able to get 33 out of it. it just seems just like it was 10 years ago. In fact, uh, it, it was. Wow, how far we've come. And now I'm using Comcast, so it's just a little bit faster than dial-up. You know, like, you can't, can't, can't win them all. Uh, but the good thing is, is that we've got a top five list uh, as submitted by uh, a user in the chat room, Brandon. And uh, Brandon suggests the top five tips for slow connections. So if you've got a slow ISP, well, then pay attention. If you're still on dial-up, don't ask me how the heck you're watching this video. <clears throat> Number one. Schedule your downloads. There are many free download managers that allow you to set up downloads to go consecutively while you're asleep. Otherwise, you'd have them going on all the time, at one time, which could result in broken downloads. This is also very useful if you have a slow ISP and always exceed your download threshold. Whoa, ISP still have download thresholds? My God, where's he living? You can schedule files to download late at night while the threshold is not in place. I recommend iGetter and free download manager. If anybody else has any suggestions, feel free to make them. Number two, download items that you visit every day rather than reloading them. If you're like me, you listen to YouTube movies in the background of just about everything you do, so you don't have to pay a dollar for the song. But every time you come back to that page, it takes a long time to reload. Instead of reloading that page, you can download the video with YouTube Downloader and convert it into a usable format, including MP3 with the same program. Flash games can also be downloaded if you're using Firefox. Wait for the Flash file to load 100% and choose File, Save pa Page As. Then open up the folder you saved and take out the SWF file. Right-click the file and choose to open it with Firefox. You can then delete the folder. Number three, know when to click links. If a page is loaded 100%, search for the next link you are going to use before you start viewing the page. If you find it, open it in a new tab and it can load while you are busy on the first page. If the page is in the middle of loading, but you find the link you want before it's done, click stop before continuing on to the next link. Unless you know you'll be occupied for a long time on one page or away from the computer, don't try to load multiple pages at one time. Number four, leech. If you have a laptop and know someone with DSLR cable or other form of high speed, bring it over there and download as many things as you can to keep yourself occupied while on your slow connection. This may seem like mooching, but uh, you can make it less obvious. Schedule lots of downloads before going over there. Then once you're there, plug your laptop in, resume the downloads, and do what you'd normally do whenever you visit. And obviously we're talking about legal downloads, at least I assume. Number five, increase your cash size, or possibly your cash reserve so you can pay for a better ISP. Uh, in, but when he's mentioning cash, he means like data storage cash, C-A-C-H-E. If you increase the size of your cache and put your computer in sleep mode rather than shutting it down every night, frequently used pages will load quicker. To do this in Firefox, go to Tools, Options, Advanced, Network, and you can increase the size of your cache. I hope this tides some people over until high speed becomes available to them. And he signs it ones and zeros. Oh, it's so, Brandon, you are so binary. Uh, so let me ask this. What do you guys do to speed up your internet connection? I mean, you may have just an amazingly blazing fast ISP, and that's fine. You know, your internet connection may be great. But what about uh, people like, you know, my parents who have DSL, but just like, it's not that good. It's, it's really bad DSL. It's serviced, I think, by Quest through NetINS in Iowa. Um, he could probably pay $5 more and get twice the speed, but uh, he, he says he can't watch the videos on YouTube that we do because he says his ISP is slowed. You got Fios? Oh, someone kicked Jen. <sighs> I wish I could get fiber to my door. Maybe one day. Yeah, 10 years from now. In the old way, if anybody has any tips for speeding up the internet connection or, you know, dealing with slower internet connections, feel free to make some suggestions. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If you have a top five list, I'd love to see it, whether it's related to internet or tech or not, uh, just send it over. And then if you want to talk about how bad or how good your internet is, well, I'm sure you're going to talk about it anyway, but if you want to talk with the rest of us, and I mean by the rest of us, this chat room over here, down below, right next to the, here's the, the little sponsor logos over here, 
and then over there is the people who are chatting right beneath my cartoon face there um, you can come by and people talk about all sorts of things in our chat room uh, 300 people tonight and through the day we had well we pretty much maintained that through the day I think uh, so you're welcome to join us and talk tech games internet software hardware make suggestions recommendations just just stop by and say hello that's all we're asking. I may not be paying attention to what's happening in the chat room, but that doesn't mean I'm not paying attention in the uh, global sense, because I am paying attention. Appreciate your support. And if you'd like to come by and say hi, you can just open up your web browser anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and come to live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.